everybody welcome back we got rain clouds we got a beautiful dr and this will be the first time you guys will have seen it with race tech fork springs yeah Eee, i got springs i got springs yeah that means i can go fast off-road at least but anyways we're heading that way we're gonna hit up some, some trails pretty close by. I'm, it's like no more than like 20 miles away from my house. So I'm not going anywhere crazy far. I don't really have a ton of time this time around. So I'm just going out to a spot that I spotted recently that's really cool. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It's got a bit of a surprise. Um, so yeah, we'll get to that. communicating with the cows I've gotten out here so often I've learned their language I hear some horses <coughs> little baby horse <laughs> chugging oh come on dr you can hold 70 let's do this yeah uh, and then we always get these fun corners through here 30 miles an hour in my butt i'm going 50 through this bad boy yeah slow down for this one because this one is pretty steep pretty sharp I mean I didn't slow down that much though it's getting a little rainy here I'm gonna slow down a bit I don't know how slick this road will be oh that's some big winds big rain That is not a good gear. Not a good gear at all. I'm gonna have to ride with my visor down today. With all that rain hitting my eyes. Oh man. Yeah, so this is the first time you guys will be seeing the bike, seeing me on the bike with the new uh, Race Tech Springs put in. I've had it for a while like this. Just haven't had the, uh, the ability to film any videos, but yeah, no more complaining about springs. <laughs> like these feel so good, you guys. The bike is so much more confident now. Yeah, it's excellent. And now the bike's pretty much finished, you guys. It's, I don't have anything else that I really want to buy for it. It needs new tires, I know that much. And it needs, eventually it's gonna need a new chain and sprocket. But I mean, that's just maintenance stuff. No more mods, all maintenance from here on out. That was my turn off. Want to see epic anime drift? Oh, I'm still not very good at that. <laughs> Your boss is nearby, you want to impress him? Yeah, anime drift. pretty rocky section here so every time I, I've done this trail a good handful of times every time I do this trail I go on this big rock on the left here go as slow as I can for bike control you gotta go a little faster here so the bike doesn't stop when you bottom it out kakunk yeah Yeah. <laughs> 
big rocks. <laughs> Like you wouldn't see someone doing going that section that quickly on a stock DR. <laughs> it would be one rough ride. Down back into first, engine brake down this bad boy. Back into second. Oh yeah. Jump that one, oh yeah. Oh, this wasn't here last time I was here. Must have had an angry cow plow through here or something. A raging boar. Except for boars are pigs, they're not cows. A raging bull is what I meant. <laughs> Taking it just a little easier through here because we do have some mud accumulation. Think about the dirt out here. When it's like damp, it's amazing. Um, but if you get any kind of mud, like any kind of pooling or mud, it's the slipperiest stuff you'll ever ride in. Aside from like snow and ice, it is very slick. So when you start seeing damp pooling, take it easy, slow down a little bit. Don't wanna eat crap. Like right here. That was pretty hard packed dampness though. Damn pooling. Yeah, this is very soft here. Remember, this is where I turn off. Yep, I found it. I don't need Google anymore. I remembered how to get here now. All right, we're good. So I, hit, I just uh, stopped here to get a cool shot of those rocks there. And some guys came by on their side by sides. So they were going up to check out the thing that I'm going to see. Well, you know, you guys are going to hear about it. It's going to be in the title. There's an abandoned mine. <laughs> we're going to go check it out. Um, so they'll be there for a little bit. I might camp somewhere else if that's the case. But I'll go check it out. They might be there with me. But... But yeah, we'll head up there. It's such a pretty area. It's so just rainy right now, so it's just so humid. Whoa, that was a little wiggly. <laughs> oh, that would have been a crash. Just stand up now for that crap. So run it out right now. Oh. It's amazing. 
amazing just how much speed you could carry on this trail. Bug just flew in my mouth. I went in like 20, 30 feet, and then I turned around. I wanted to do it with a, like in a video, but are you are you videoing right now? Yeah, I yeah, I, I don't I, I won't put this in if you don't want me to, but <laughs> sure. Yeah, I was just gonna ask you. I was gonna check it out, and then I was gonna spend the night right here, but that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We went way far, like to where it teed off like two times. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, you guys. So what we're gonna do? We're all gonna stay together. And we're all going to follow, like, the left path, okay? So it's always, like, hit the wall. And... Oh, man. Oh, my GoPro's not going to catch anything in here. <laughs> I'll try my best. We just followed the tracks. Yeah, watch for snakes too, Carson. There's roots coming out of the ceiling. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a little warm. Yeah, so this is about as far as I went in, so this is all new to yeah, me. We, we went in. <laughs> Did you? I was alone, so I, you know, yeah, that'd be less scary. so it was a little scarier to do stuff yeah. when you're alone. <clears throat> no, the light still comes in a little bit. Well, I know. Oh, yeah, you can see a dot on the end there. <laughs> see? Yeah, a little dot. <laughs> Don't worry, though. There's a smiley face here, so it's oh, yeah. no, only good things to come from there. <laughs> It's got evil bat teeth, though, so I don't know about that. I doubt we'll find anything, like, super special down here. I'm sure people picked it clean. Seth, will you stand at the back? Yeah, let's try Yeah, it's like, get in front of us. Yeah, that hole goes way down there. Yeah. That's wild. Oh, there's a dead something right there. Yeah, it's a rabbit. Oh, a rabbit. It probably got lost in here. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. The ceiling's all wet here. Or it's a, it looks like a pump, maybe? Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it diverts off here, too. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to go all these crazy different paths. I just want to check out this pipe thing. Right. Yeah, oh, it is definitely a pump. Yeah, that's for water. Oh, there's a campfire back there. Oh, yeah, that doesn't sound safe. Yeah, that's definitely like a big old pump of some kind. No way. Is there net? You know. a diamond net. So whatever's in it is very green. I think it's just the bottle is a shade of green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's dark. It's hard to... Oh. All right, guys. Well, that was really fun. I got to go out and explore some mine. Um, got to meet some cool people as well. Just kind of happened across them out here. So that was uh, nice of them to let me film and, and uh, use their light for a bit of it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. We're at a cool spot. <laughs> cool camp spot. Cool camp spot. 
um, and we are going to set up tent, fire, all that junk, and get to camping. guys so unfortunately I'm being attacked by flies fortunately I forgot my lighter and I don't have any backups I have no way to start a fire tonight so for dinner today got a, a somewhat warm Dr. Pepper Some cold sausages. These are pre-cooked, so they're edible. And I'll be right back. <clears throat> Top it all off, a can of chunk chicken breast with rib meat and water. Yes. Excellent. So we're not having the most glamorous dinner tonight, um, but I'm okay with that because I already ate before I left. Like I had a really good burrito. Um, I'll enjoy my sausage. Oh, that is just... Oh, even though these are pre-cooked, they are really not the most pleasant thing to eat cold. Mmm. <laughs> that is just delightful. I'll drink, I'll uh, wash it down with the chicken and this Dr. Pepper at the end. That is so gross. <laughs> I've had enough of that. Chicken breast. And of course, with this chicken breast, I forgot to bring a knife or like a fork or anything of that sort. So, I'm going to be like drinking these. Eating them with my bare hands. <laughs> chunky chicken breast. Chunk, chunk chicken breast with rib and water meat. If I've been riding all day, this would be very disappointing thing about this trip is it was kind of like a last minute decision for me to come out here so I'm a little underprepared I forgot a lot of stuff because I was trying to rush to pack um, so not optimal 
but it's okay. Still beautiful out here. Still had a really fun ride coming in. You just gotta live like a hobo every once in a while, right? I think I'm just gonna rush home tomorrow and uh, cook up a wonderful breakfast. This Dr. Pepper is quite good despite being a little warm. What the? There's a caterpillar on my hand. Hold on. Look at that. I'm just sitting here filming the DR, and this little caterpillar fell onto my hand, like mid-film. Hey, buddy. No, oh, he's really perching. I like how he's skirting his butt. He's getting his butt situated. And now he's moving his face. Alright, buddy. Here. Time for you to go. Oh, don't fall. Get on the leaf. Yeah, there you go. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? He's gone. My little caterpillar friend left. When the walls are caving in my head Breathing. 